You know, just a few days ago, I was talking with somebody about the new iPhone that's coming out in just a few months. You know, fall time is the best time to be a tech nerd, especially if you love Apple products. I love the Apple announcements about the new iPhone that they produce every year, right? And it's always a tweak on the last model year. The new model year version of the iPhone always has something uh, you know, unique about it, whether that be an upgrade to the processor or maybe a better battery. It could be uh, a better camera system on the back of the phone. And maybe even like this year, it's going to be a new form factor, just some changes to the design of the phone itself. There's always new features in a new model year product. And Apple, just like every other tech company, they make subtle changes to those core features in every phone. They improve on and grow in the area of their core features to produce the new model year phone. And eventually the old model years, they will be obsolete because these changes to their core features have grown each and every year. And well, I wonder if you knew that there were core features to being a Christian. Did you know that? That as a Christian, as a person who follows Jesus Christ, you ought to have some core features that are a part of you. Let's look at scripture in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 10. It says this, that because you have these blessings, now what he's talking about is the blessing of Jesus in your life, the blessing of Christ working in you, and helping you and uh, gaining your salvation for you. Because you have these blessings, do your best to add these things to your lives. Do your best to add these things to your lives. You know what that's saying is that, you know what? If you can have faith that God did his part, then you ought to do your part. If you have enough faith that God did his part, right, and sent Jesus, and Jesus died on the cross, and that he was resurrected from the grave, if you believe that, then you ought to do your part. Do your best to add these things to your lives. Now, what things is the author talking about? What type of things? Well, it starts with faith. To your faith, add goodness. And to your goodness, add knowledge. And to your knowledge, add self-control. And to your self-control, add patience. And to your patience, add service for God. And to your service for God, add kindness for your brothers and sisters in Christ. And to this kindness, add love. See, we get the picture here that there are core features of being a Christian. If you follow Jesus Christ, these are the features that should be prominent in your life. And then it continues. It says, if all of these things are in you and are growing, they will help you to be useful and productive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. See, it's not just enough to have core features, but what you ought to be doing is continuing to grow and enhance those features over time. Just like the new model year iPhone or whatever model year product you like to buy, you as a Christian, as a follower of Jesus, ought to be improving and growing in the core features that make you stand out as a Christian. Because when those things are growing, you become more useful and more productive living in the kingdom of God, it says in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Here's what I want you to do. Take a look at this list. Faith, goodness, knowledge, self-control, patience, service, kindness, and love. I want you to take this list and get practical because all of us need to improve somewhere on this list. It might be everything on this list, but all of us have at least one or two or three things that we need to improve on that are on this list. Here's what I want you to do practically. I want you to get out a piece of paper, get out a note card and a pen, and write down these eight core features. Write these down, and I want you to tape it on your bathroom mirror. 
maybe take an Expo marker and write it on your bathroom mirror. I want you to put it in your car. You drive, you have a car, I want you to put it in your car. Tape it to the dashboard, tape it to your steering wheel, tape it to your mirror so that everywhere you go, you'll be able to see this list. And every morning when you wake up, you'll see this list and remind yourself that you need to be improving, that you need to do your part. That takes discipline, right? It takes practice and patience because eventually, eventually, that practice and discipline will translate into ability and action and you'll be even more useful and productive in the kingdom of God. I wonder <laughs> if you could design a new model you. What kind of core features would you incorporate this year?